Hello everyone, am I audible and visible? Let me know, then we'll start. Let me confirm, then we'll start. Am I audible and visible? I think so. Am I audible? Am I audible and visible? Fine. Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. Welcome to our channel physiology practical as well as we have also started our app that is practicable okay welcome you all uh, today we will discuss about strength duration curve which is also known as excitability curve okay it is so many times it may be asked as a short question or viva question or maybe asked as a spotting okay so this is your strength duration curve or excitability curve right So, here, yeah. fine, uh, so, now, excitability, what do you mean by excitability? Excitability means ability of tissue to give response to the stimulus, okay, response to the stimulus. When any tissue is stimulated with stimulus, it will give response, so it is, uh, the characteristic of living tissue right now what is stimulus stimulus is any change in external environment any change in the external environment which produces response in excitable tissue that is stimulus excitable tissue that is stimulus okay now so stimulus is of various types depending on the characteristic okay types of stimuli they are either mechanical stimulus okay electrical stimulus chemical stimulus and thermal stimulus okay so uh, mechanical stimulus that is like pinching if you are pinching somewhere okay electrical that is electricity electric shock or uh, normally faradic current is used to record the faradic current is used to record the response of the tissue okay chemical stimulus that is any chemical substance substance and thermal stimulus that is either heat or cold from all of this for experimental purpose we use electrical stimulus okay electrical stimulus is used fine now what is the advantage of using electrical stimulus because number one it is it can be easily handled okay we can change the duration we can change the intensity we can adjust duration and intensity of the stimulus and another important advantage is it is least damaging to the tissue so we use electrical stimulus fine so these are advantages of electrical stimulus now another thing uh, depending on the quant qualities, stimulus is having two characteristics. Number one is intensity and second is duration. Intensity means according to intensity, stimulus is divided in five groups. Number one, that is sub-minimal stimulus. Second, minimal or threshold stimulus. Third, sub-maximal stimulus. Then maximal and fourth is maximal. And fifth, that is supra-maximal stimulus. Okay, we will discuss so first of all, we will discuss minimal stimulus, that is threshold stimulus. You can see here in this diagram, you can see here, uh, this is your threshold stimulus. What do you mean by threshold stimulus? This is the minimum stimulus required to stimulate the tissue. That is threshold or minimal stimulus, fine. 
then when the stimulus is less than threshold or minimum that is known as sub threshold or sub minimal stimulus fine then comes sub maximal sub maximal means the stimulus between minimal and maximal okay that is sub maximal stimulus this one is sub maximal gradually we are increasing the strength of stimulus we are reaching towards the maximum one okay then maximal stimulus that is the stimulus which produces highest response maximum response here this is maximum and supra maximal stimulus that is more than maximal stimulus but if we increase the strength of stimulus above maximal the strength we can increase but the response cannot be increased okay why because all the motor units are used up all the motor units of the muscle they are recruited okay so no more motor units are left for increasing the response fine so there are five types of stimuli according to intensity or according to strength let us revise one that is threshold stimulus that is also known as minimal stimulus minimal or threshold means minimum this much stimulus is required to stimulate the tissue okay second that is sub threshold when the stimulus is less than minimal that is sub minimal or sub threshold maximal the stimulus that produces maximum response that is maximal stimulus okay sub maximal the stimulus which is less than maximal but more than minimal that is sub maximal maximal stimulus is the stimulus which produces maximum response okay and if we are increasing the strength of stimulus above maximum we will not get increase in the response so this is supra maximal stimulus right so this is a, this is a classification according to intensity now second thing is duration of stimulus duration means uh, when the stimulus our stimulus is weak okay we require to apply it for long duration to get the required response okay but if the stimulus is strong then we require to give it to apply it for a short period of time okay so that is duration okay at least we require to apply the stimulus for minimal duration to produce response now basics are these two things one is strength of stimulus and second is duration and these are the basics of our curve strength duration curve or excitability curve okay let us discuss the curve very important curve it is not just a free hand we are drawing okay what is the strength duration curve you can see here these are the strength of stimuli here plotted this is in the volt okay strength of stimuli in the volt they are here on the y axis so here on the x axis we have duration fine duration that is in milliseconds fine now again we come to the theory that when the strength of stimulus is more less time is required and when the stimulus strength is less more time is required you can see here suppose if you have applied 1 volt of stimulus we require point here you can see this 1 millisecond okay 1 millisecond to stimulate same thing here you can see if we have 0.5 millivolt of stimulus we require it to apply more than 2 milliseconds to produce a response so you can see here this are all the points means suppose you have applied this different strength of stimuli how much time is required to stimulate the tissue this two relationship that is drawn okay so suppose you can you how to draw it you can see here this way 0 1 2 like this okay here also 0.5 1 1.5 two and all fine suppose you have applied 1 millivolt stimulus okay and you required 2 milliseconds so make a point here then suppose if you have given 2 uh, volt of stimulus you have required 1 millisecond so yes just, just place a point here then 3 millivolt you have required 0.5 second 4 millivolt you have required 0.25 second so this way so this way you just have to make a curve okay so this is your strength duration curve now important uh 
you can say definitions or important things to be asked from this curve. That is, this is same the strength duration curve. One that is Rio base. What is Rio base? This all definitions will be asked from this curve. Rio base, utilization time, and chronax. Okay. Now, what is Rio base? Rio base here you can see. It is the strength of current. This one. Minimum current required to stimulate the tissue. That is Rio base. Okay. When the strength of current or you can say minimum strength of current that is required to stimulate the tissue that is Rio base. Suppose for our tissue this is 0.5 volt. So this is known as Rio base. This much. This one. What is Rio base? It is I repeat minimum strength of current required to stimulate tissue fine okay now another important thing suppose if you have given 0.25 volt you get you cannot get any stimulation so you can say if you have applied less than this strength of current you will not get any response so rio base is minimum strength fine then comes utilization time. What is this utilization time? Utilization time is this time. This one. Okay. When Rio basic strength of current is applied. Minimum time required to stimulate the tissue. That is utilization time. Okay. So what is utilization time? It is the minimum time required by Rio basic strength of current to stimulate the tissue. Am I clear? If you are watching me live, just give me a thumb. I can come to know or otherwise I will repeat. Rio basic strength of current to stimulate the tissue. Fine. I repeat what is Rio base? That is minimum strength of current. This one. This one. Required to stimulate the tissue. Then comes utilization time. It is the minimum time required to stimulate the tissue with the help of Rio basic strength of current. Fine. Then chronaxi. This is chronaxi. Very important definition is coming. Chronaxi. What is chronaxi? Again, this is the measure of time. It is the minimum time where double then rio basic strength of current is applied you can see here suppose your rio basic strength is 0.5 volt now we have to apply one volt fine when we have applied one volt of current how much time is required to stimulate the tissue this is your chronaxi this one okay i repeat chronaxi is minimum time at which Stimulus double than Rio basic strength of current is applied to stimulate the tissue. Okay, now this chronaxi that is unit of excitability. Okay, what is what do you mean by unit of excitability? When your chronaxi is less, you can say tissue is more excitable. Means it requires less time to get stimulated. Okay, so when less time is required, less time for stimulation means you can say that excitability is more fine so this is the unit of excitability now some are, some of the important things chronaxi as i told you it is unit of excitability chronaxi is 10 times more 10 times more in the muscles of infants than in adults than in adults means you can say adult muscles are more excitable okay chronaxi is long in paralyzed muscle Paraly paralyzed muscle why long because the excitability is less am i clear it is longer in case of neural disease okay so in which cases chronax is longer number one in infants second in paralyzed muscle chronax is long third in neural disease and fourth, in poikilothermic animal also. Poikilothermic animal. Also, chronax is long. Chronax is short. Okay, when temperature is raised. 
temperature increases. Also, it is shot in homeothermic animal. Homeothermic are we people. We maintain our body temperature. So, pronaxia is longer. Okay. So, this is all about strength duration curve as well as we have discussed some definitions like Rio base. We have discussed utilization time. These are the important questions from this uh, strength duration curve. Utilization time and chronaxi. Fine. So, this is all about today's class. Uh, if you like my class, you can like it, you can share it with all your friends and you can subscribe our channel, Physiology Practical. Uh, also, link for our app, Practicable, that is uh, available in description box. So, you can also join our Practicable app, also download is free, you can download from the Play Store. Thank you, Dr. Sheetal. Thank you all for joining with me.